Hello everyone, my name is Zohar Khaled and you are watching me on my Insta story. Uh, today I've come up with a very important topic and I want to raise awareness about it. As we all know that November is a month that is dedicated to raise awareness about violence against women. So I would like to tell my audience, the followers I have on Instagram, all my friends, uh, to know more about it. So uh, the point or the um, part of it that I want to emphasize on is the intimate partner violence, uh, especially in the community of immigrants. So um, we have seen in a lot of communities, the people who immigrate to another country from another country, they are new to a certain place and when these kind of things happen with them it start to deteriorate and you know shatter their whole life and uh, their whole self-confidence self-esteem and everything and most of the times women do not come up uh, out in open to discuss these things and they don't even report about it or because uh, first they're not given a chance to secondly either they're isolated by their partners or they fear that what will happen if they come out and uh, about the abuse and everything so basically i would like to talk about the factor of isolation these women face um so isolation could be anything uh, first of the kind of isolation that i feel is important to talk about is stay away cutting you off from your family friends and the people who are close to you or your workplace and in any environment that kind of isolation actually you know damages person's ability to think and to actually realize that anyone could be uh, supporting them when they will come out with um, this thing that they are being abused at home and the second kind of isolation could be uh, what I have read in different uh, stories and different experiences shared with, by the women who have actually faced it is that uh, your abuser kind of start to spread rumors about you in your friends in your family uh, rumors like you are not um, you know you're not able to configure things you're not able to understand things and they actually try to uh, build your uh, image in front of your own family and friends that if later on you try to come up with uh, this news to them that you are being abused they won't believe you because uh, your partner had already brainwashed them about uh, your concerns or uh, your situation so that is another very damaging kind of isolation uh, another kind of isolation that is very important uh, is economic or financial isolation uh, the statistics or the research papers and everything that I've read about and a very common factor that they have um, touched upon is the fact that your abuser try to isolate you or you know try to force you to give up your financial independence they, it can range from hiding your um, money uh, controlling your bank accounts and, and you know everything of that sort so you are new in a country and you don't know much about that new place let alone your financial independence is also compromised so in that situation uh, a victim never comes out because they are totally and financially dependent on their abuser so these kind of statistics these kind of stories are really alarming and we really need to you know raise awareness about such issues the list is so long that if I start talking about it, it will take me like, you know, days and days to explain about such things. I'm still studying about it and I'm actually also um, associated with um, one train uh, training program that is actually, um, you know, training me in terms of gathering resources uh, for the women who went through abuse and through education kind of support them and help them in their situation and coming out of that abusive relationship and uh, violent relationship. So I'm trying to be as much productive and as much helpful to those who go through these kind of situation as I can. I'm also volunteering in this field and I think that uh, in whatever capacity we can, we should help such people. I don't really like the word of victim to use about because there are people 
just like us they're women just like me or you and their situation is not something that should define them if they go through certain you know unpleasant and damaging experiences in terms of violence and abuse and we should not be you know labeling them with the names because that remains with them for the rest of their lives what we should do and we what we must do is to support them and i'm not asking you big i'm just asking you if you know someone around you it could be your friend it could be a family member or anyone if you know someone who is going through such kind of problems in their lives just support them do something for them if you cannot do anything for them just listen to them and let me tell you this very very frankly that listening to those people who are going through these kind of issues is sometimes the only thing that they need because they've been shut down they've been isolated by the outer world they've been shut down by the family they've been shut down with the only person they thought that would be their savior their spouse because women have this mentality that you know he is my superman or something like that so when they're shut down when they're isolated by the very person and so there is no one to listen to them and if you can put forward your support in terms of in a way that you can just go and listen to them it makes a huge difference so next time when you see someone going through that problem just go and listen to them